Hey you guys, welcome to episode 3 of Dragon Age Inquisition. So we are battling the Wolfpack Demon in order to get enough power to move on with the story. So let's go. Siesta. So we can recoup. This might interest you, sir. We also need to ride the horses. Varric, you joined the Inquisition when Seeker oh, Pentagast questioned you. He was very insistent that I help. Interesting. What's interesting? It's surprising that an elven apostate is the one who joined the Inquisition voluntarily. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It Thanks. may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. Okay, we got one power from that. So that's something at least. Um, I think we need four power. We should get some for right now. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, 
I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Yay. There's a total of three races that you can do with the horse, but I am not going to do all of them. <laughs> because I don't need to. Whoa. Nicely done. Okay, so now I'm going to fast travel back to Haven, so I can go to the war table and go do this mission. Perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Excellent. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Right. So this uh, this thing will go away. Otherwise, I'll be annoyed the entire time. 
Look who's back from the dead. Again. I shouldn't be surprised. You oxmen are tough as old leather. My thanks for any part you played in that. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Farewell. I don't usually use potions. Um, even in more hardcore difficulties, I don't usually use them. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. So much drama. Drama mama. I didn't realize any of Leliana's Oxman Mercerys were still here. Well, if you want new gear, you pay for it. You oh. racist Your bitch. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Oxman. Fuck you. Farewell. Make a go with you. Anyways. For she who trunks in the maker, fire is her water. A puppet carrier done will have more lives than the interest. Is that an entire airplane? So I've gone back and forth about whether or not I want to, um, like, send our... Chancellor Roderick came to speak. Oh Could you try not to antagonize him? If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. If I should send them on the uh, war table missions while we're not doing... Not the person. 
first strange promise we have received, and likely will not be the last, despite this airplane that has decided to go over my house again. An eloquently written note follows, the Inquisition has need and we should provide. We have in our possession a mount of noble spirit, fallen in battle against rage, returned to life by the boundless urge to run and serve a worthy cause and noble master. Prove what your followers already believe, that your reach is beyond this realm, that even the forces of the fade are your ally, that death is no longer, or is no barrier to victory. Signed, the Collective. Colin, our soldiers will ensure that arrive safely. Liliana, our guy quietly makes her nothing interferes with the arrival. Josephine will take every care with such a boon. Our associates will see to it. When? All right. The creature has arrived. It is just as unnerving as expected. A 
address a nobleman's concerns. Herald, your inquisition says it's for order against chaos, reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I've seen elves and apostates among them. Filthy savages daring at our roots, our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your faith. Praise the light, Lord Kildarn of Ferelden. We're gonna pick Josephine. Ah, yes, Lord Kildarn, a pariah even among his peers. Let us send him a polite refusal and nothing more. At your service. Because he's a racist. Get. The Terran of Hyather, to whom it concerns. The Terranier of Hyather wishes to convey our deepest sympathies on the death of Divine Justinia the Fifth. The Most Holy was incomparable in her wisdom and dedication to peace, and we had high hopes that her conclave would succeed. We will hold a vigil in high ever in remembrance of Justinia, and cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. Sincerely, Darren Fergus Gooseland. Darren Gooseland was in the first uh, game in Origins. So, Liliana knew him, obviously, and Justinia. I think we should have a honor guard. All right. Because I feel like that it makes the most sense to my brain. Okay. Now let's go to Val Royal. So address the gentry in Val Royal. The remaining gentry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Heretical. <laughs> I said that so bad. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the gentry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. The recommended level is 4 to 7. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. There's another airplane. Apparently, I'm under an airplane route right now. For some reason. Which is annoying. Actually help. This is a terrible plan. I'm not worried. Um, I feel like this might not actually. I'm help. more concerned. This won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a. What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Well, okay. Did I already read that? Yeah, I already read that. Okay. It's about to be like that. Some of those words look the same.
things like the idea of Orle and Valroyal being so opulent. Like it always is so intriguing. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills no, of observation it. never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. True. They wish to protect the people from us? We expected this. Protect them from me. They can try. They can try. They can certainly try. We don't want a pitched battle in the middle of Val Royale. That's their choice, isn't it? You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. We could talk to the Templars. Sounds like trouble. It changes nothing. Sounds like trouble. <sighs> So the potential for trouble has increased twofold. Perhaps. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Alright. Normally I would read all these plaques, but there are like 200 in here. Stand wary. People of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so called Herald of Andraste. Claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, a wicked Konari sent to subvert the Maker's word. So it's I never claim to be. You're wrong, I am the Herald. Let's talk peacefully. We have a real enemy. Stop this. Now. <laughs> I think I would say we have a real enemy. You say I am the enemy. The breach in the sky is our true enemy. We must unite to stop it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition, and the people will be saved once more. That's what you get, bitch. Still yourself. She is beneath us. But not like that. How dare you? Am I supposed to be impressed? Not here for us, then. Saved me the trouble. That display is supposed to impress me? On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. 
You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Crazy man, crazy man. Help us close the breach. Templars, join us, Cullen dead. Then why are you here? What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Though the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that him. stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition... Less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. The fuck are we here? Hello, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Will you see reason? So much of a Templar help. We'll find another. Fortunately, the Templars aren't our only hope. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, Perhaps. we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Okay, let me talk to this girl so we can get her in the Inquisition. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky. I'm going to give it a try, at least. No one is doing anything. Chantry is useless, and the Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. Cassandra. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you, and not me. Well, he is... The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. All right, go to Haven. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So, what's that? An arrow with a message? I hate that line. We're not going to, though. Um, I didn't know that I could talk to this guy. What's he saying? My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. I like his mustache. Have you come to scavenge now that the Divine lies cold? Whisper your cure against the charm? Leave me. My emptiness will not be bought by you. Maker, show me the light. Okay. The Templars. I believe that ma You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Invitation. First enchanter, Vivienne. You are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the chateau of Duke Bastien de Gislain. Yours, Vivienne de Fer, first enchanter of Montesmard, enchanter to the Imperial Court. We will not be, um, we will not be doing that. Sorry. To all the Vivian fans out there, I really dislike If I might have a moment of your time. Even though we're doing a major. Sort of. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, 
Perhaps my people are the wiser option. In return for what? And what do you want in exchange for the mage's help? Oh, I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. It's always interesting Come, to me. Let us return that to Haven. They speak French in Wale. Because obviously it's fashioned from like the antiquated days of France. But France doesn't exist in this world, you know. Which is interesting to me. Anyways, this thing up here is for Madame de Fer, but we're not going to get her. And that's the Black Emporium. And then, of course, that's Tenderland's Haven and Belle Royal. And whenever we meet the character that we'll be using, because our bowl. Shout out to the bowl. Has said that they want Cassandra, Varric, and a third character, which is not Solas, is not Vivian, and it is not Sarah. Good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the capital. Going was worth the risk. At least we made contact the Chantry's dealt with. At least we know the Chantry is no longer a threat to us. Yes. And we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the Mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. We must choose soon. We should find the Templars. We should meet the mages. Well, Paul says mages, so here we go. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think it's a trap? There's always danger. They could be useful. They could be useful. After the Divine's death, they're probably scrambling for allies. 
If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we There's should... There's so many airplanes tonight for some stupid reason. Sorry, you guys. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. It sounds suspicious. Why tell me? You're grasping at straws. It does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. The truth of that statement is way beyond her. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Radar, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How's Durellion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. The followers need shelter. The Divine Advisors found it. We all have bigger problems. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durellion's rightful property. Has Empress Selene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferendon's monarchs on this matter. The Empress... ...has not yet had the opportunity to do so. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all... ...no matter how strange they might seem. This Nothing mask is ugly. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Sorry for interrupting. You handled them well. Good riddance. Let's hope his arrogance doesn't return. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. I'm glad you're here. Having you around can't hurt. These politics are ridiculous. I feel like having you around can't hurt. I'm glad for your help. I have a feeling the Inquisition's going to need it. I do believe you are correct. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. All right. All right, all right, all right. We can use that. A 
ambassador Montillier. So the Inquisition is a hollow prank, a jest to swindle the righteous. The tide of apostates and demons swells on my doorstep as you do nothing. My death will be on your head and the heads of all other charlatans of the Inquisition, and it will leave a stain so dark the Maker himself could not remove it. Yours truly.
I've got a message when you have the time. We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. We'll consider your offer. I appreciate it. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. So, I might have to get Iron Bull because we will need to go to the Storm Coast. All these frequent flyers can go get fucked. Anyways. So, as I was saying, uh, there's basically two characters that I haven't addressed yet. And we will discover those as we go. I'm pleased to hear it. So, let's go to Red Cliff. See what we can have enough power to be able to automatically go through into the missions, but we can do the pre-work, and it won't take so long. What I found, it's not always the case, but what I found is that rifts are really between the mages and the Templars has cost too many innocent lives. Placements. 
don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Maybe Fiona will know. We'll have to look into this. Something's wrong here. Something's not right. Stay on your guard. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. Thanks a bunch. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Interesting. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. Welcome, Agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? You invited me here. Is that a direct question? Drop the act. Skip the pleasantries. You know why we're here. You came all the way to Val Royo to invite us. You must be mistaken. 